Tested. Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. Norm from Tested. Norm, do you like 3D movies? Not always. When a movie is shot in 3D, like Avatar, pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. When a movie is converted from 2D to 3D, like Green Hornet, Clash of the Titans, no good. So, here's the thing. Frequently, your friends want to go see a 3D movie you don't want to. Assholes. Or, the 3D movie is all that's out. You can't find the 2D version oh, of the movie in theater. Assholes. Well, the good news is I have a thing for you to do right now that will solve that problem. How? You can convert a normal pair of 3D theater glasses into 2D theater glasses that will let you see a 3D movie in full two dimensions. Tell me how to do this. The first thing you need to do is steal two pairs of 3D glasses from your theater. I've done that. Oh, well done, Chan. So the way these work in the theater is by presenting different images to your left eye and right eye through the magic of polarization. The left eye is clockwise polarized, the right eye is counterclockwise polarized, and what that does is you can only see half of the image at a time, slightly different perspective. So what we're gonna do is switch the left eye in this pair of glasses with the right eye in this pair of glasses. That means that this pair of glasses will only see the left image, and this pair of glasses will only see the right image. Brilliant. So the first thing you want to do is, is pry the frames apart. Uh, I'm going to use a spudger. It came from iFixit and cost like five or ten bucks. But you can use a pocket knife or a butter knife or any number of different things that will fit into this little groove on the inside of the frames. Uh, these are real D 3D frames. Uh, but you can use this, do this with any kind of glasses if you can figure out how to pry it apart. It's actually okay if you break the frame a little bit because we're just going to glue it back together. You can see once you kind of get in here, it just pops right out. Work gently around the edges. The lens is right there and it will just pop out and whammy. So now, it's important to remember the orientation, both front and back, and rotation of the lens, because that makes a difference. So these are the two different lenses. This one is the right lens, this one is the left lens. You can tell the bridge on the, the bridge mount place on the left lens is a little higher than on the right lens. And, uh, but the, the key thing is both nubs point to the middle of the glasses. I'm gonna put the right lens in the pair of glasses I was working on. Norm's gonna put the left lens in the pair of glasses he was working on. The important thing is to make sure that you uh, keep the orientation of the lens right and you don't scratch it up too bad when you're getting it back in there. It's not gonna snap back into place perfectly. Again, that is okay. Uh, if you're really worried about it, you can take a little bit of super glue and some clamps and kind of cinch this down and get this, uh, get this frame gap to close in nicely. Uh, I didn't find it necessary. I've worn these to a couple of movies now and they've worked fine. So that is how you convert a terrible pair of 3D glasses into an awesome pair of 2D glasses. How do they work, Norm? Awesome. The world's in 2D. Only for a $4 surcharge. I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Thanks for watching.